Inventing the Uno got Ben Gulak publicity, funding, and offices in Cambridge, Massachusetts, where he went to MIT. But none of that is going to stop me from testing what he boasts gives his electric vehicle a huge advantage over the wannabes, namely that the Uno is compact enough to be brought indoors and recharged anywhere. I'm in my hotel room with Dana, putting Ben's brainchild through its paces. Why don't we try something crazy? Let's, uh, let's see if you can get that Uno into my bathroom over here and say, brush your teeth. Think I can do that? Yeah, well, let's see it. Now, this isn't your usual sort of Uno application, isn't it? This is definitely something I've never done before. So we'll just see how well it works. That's a tight door frame, and you're doing all right, huh? Yeah. Well, that's amazing mobility, isn't it? So you're going to be able to use one of your hands to brush? Oh, absolutely. All right, let's get on those chompers. Got my toothbrush here. So you're just, you're completely hovering here, right? Is this the gyroscopic thing? It won't let you fall over? Exactly. It's balancing me both front to back and uh, side to side right This here. is a big selling feature, right? That's outstanding. Try not to break anything. They got my credit card. Smooth like butter, Danon. Take it to the right. There's an elevator at the end of the hall. Let's slide into that. Well, hang on. Why don't we take it down this way? OK. People look at it kind of peculiar. Definitely. Almost like they not something seen one you before. see every day. It's actually hard to believe the Uno can go from something I can drape my laundry over while it recharges in my hotel to a street legal electric motorcycle that really moves. But there's something Ben and the boys have been working hard on that would put the Uno's cool factor through the roof. They don't just want a dual purpose vehicle. They want the vehicle to transform from dicycle mode to motorcycle mode automatically while the bike is moving. I gotta tell you, that's an incredibly tall order science-wise. But this is video Ben shot of the transformation actually happening. Move over, Michael Bay. There's a new movie in town. Ben confesses it's still very much a touch and go process, but hopefully I'll be able to see it for myself. Here we go. Oh, trouble. To transform, the front wheels have to extend. The back wheels have to retreat and unify. Neither is happening now. Clearly, things aren't working the way Ben had hoped. The problem appears to lie with the Uno self-balancing algorithm. It can't compute fast enough while the bike is in transition from dicycle to motorcycle, so it shuts down and tries to reboot. Keeping the Uno reliably balanced during its transformation has proven a major challenge. How will Ben and the boys figure it out? What about my Uno? I see her hanging there like a Christmas turkey. 